What's up? It's Divested Puppet. Make sure to smash that like button before we get started. Likes are for free, so don't be stingy. All right, now let's get started. Portia Williams and her husband are in serious trouble now that the police are on the case. Rumors are swirling that Portia may be implicated in her husband Simon Gabadia's alleged criminal activities. So Girl, you go in the jail, okay? Your ass is going to jail, and that is what you get for thinking that you were going to parade around with another woman's ring, okay? I don't feel sorry for your raggedy ass. Point blank, period. So, yeah, now she's facing federal charges and is looking up to 10 years in prison. So, yeah, she's in some serious trouble because they don't have steak and lobster in prison. And they certainly don't got no bottled water. You're going to be drinking some hooch or some toilet wine while your butch cellmate fights with her girlfriend, okay? That is where you finna be going. Investing, she may have assisted him in concealing his actions. The situation is escalating quickly, and it looks like things are about to get even more complicated. This situation is going to get really complicated when the feds be asking your scamming African husband where he bought all those expensive gifts for your ass that you were flashing online. The situation is undeniably overwhelming, but many aren't sympathetic towards Portia because they had warned her about Simon's questionable character. Despite warnings, Portia allowed her emotions to cloud her judgment. Yeah, she's not that smart, okay? She is a french fry away from a Happy Meal, and she's not that bright because she never questioned where his money was coming from or anything. And reports are saying that he scammed her out of money and that she was the one buying everything, buying the rings and the jewelry and buying the cars and stuff like that. So they were faking it all along. Interestingly, Simon's ex-wife, Fallon Gabadia, who happened to be a friend of Portia's, might be finding some satisfaction in this dramatic turn of events. Yeah, that's called karma. That's what you get. Be careful how you find your man, because that's exactly how you're going to lose him. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere... Damn, look at Wendy. She looking rough. I happen to notice one of your specialty items. Did you drink this whole thing today? Yeah, stop with the uh, sad soap opera music, okay? And why you got to put the bottle of vodka right in front of the camera? Is because you trying to get your money shot? You don't really care about Wendy. All you are is just another Dusty trying to use her up for her money. Yes, no. Look, she forgot she was being filmed. Did you drink this, Wendy? Yes. I mean, no. But, okay, let's just have a, a quick conversation about this. Don't you feel like maybe this is a bit excessive? I, I don't know if you need this right now. We Why? Have a lot because we have a lot. Look at her, laying there with that stack of condos laying on her uh, bed like that. And as soon as she passes out in a drunken stupor, that dusty gonna walk right over and snatch that money and walk right out, okay? Just like the other black men in her life. A business I'm not drunk. On. I never said you was drunk, but I just don't know if this is a good idea. You. So you think you're perfectly fine having as many drinks as you want? Perfectly. Okay. But I'm just gonna put it downstairs to keep it cool. Keep it there. Okay. Keep it there. Damn. She screamed at that naker. You better put my bottle of vodka down. You didn't buy it with your broke bummy ass. Put my bottle down. Social media users are drawing comparison between Beyonce's country hit, Texas Hold'em, and the theme song for the Canadian cartoon show, Franklin. Since Queen Bay, 42, dropped her hit song on February 11, fans have noticed some similarities between the two tracks. That's the same song, okay? And y'all sitting over here crying and acting like this is the best country song ever. That sounds just like that dang children's cartoon. All right? Sitting over here trying to push this song to number one. And it sounds just like the Franklin theme song. Anyone else here think that Beyonce's new country song absolutely sucks? Or is it just me? Sorry, not sorry. I'm not sorry either, okay? Because Beyonce, even though she's from Texas voted for Biden and pushed our followers to vote for Biden. So don't sit up there and try to push her into the country music sector where everybody's Christian conservatives, all right? She needs to stick to making that satanic mammy music, all right? And I find it quite interesting that a lot of you rejected liberal mammies are under this man's comments talking about he's a racist when look at his screen name, kicking it with Kevin. He's up here speaking in whole abonics and black vernacular while y'all under the comments crying that he's a racist, okay? Y'all mammies are really embarrassing. Y'all really are. Worst date ever a date from hell. Let's jump right in. He was on his phone as soon as we got to the Swan Lake. When I finally said- Girl, why are you wearing house slippers 
while you trying to do some water activities. That is not the appropriate shoes to be wearing. Something about it, he assured me that it was just his job. Yeah, right. He talking to his baby mamas, okay? That's his job. We ran out of gas on the way to the restaurant. What? <laughs> so, his ass didn't even have enough gas to even take you to the date? Girl, you made a mistake by even accepting a date from this Dusty. So, yeah, uh, we already see where this is going. He didn't like me taking pictures of myself and was like, let daddy be in the videos. Yeah, gross. Sitting over here trying to call yourself daddy like you a grown man. I mean, that's disgusting. Can't make this up. When it was time to pay, he asked, do you have your credit card on you? Mm-hmm. Yep. I knew that was going <laughs> Daddy wanted you to whip out that credit card and pay for the meal, huh? <laughs> Y'all are just catching nothing but L's, okay? I'm just not going to have a man's baby just to have a man's baby. If a man wants me to have his baby, I have two requirements. You're going to get a tattoo of my face on your body because it's a body for a body. My body's going to change forever. Your body's going to change forever. And my push present is either a car or a house. Prefer Notice how when these Beckys get around black culture, they emulate all the terrible qualities of black culture. All right. Her only requirements for having a baby is for a man to buy you a car or a house or to get a tattoo of your face on him. So not marrying you is a priority or him actually being able to be a good father. That's not a priority to you. All right. I have some requirements. First, you're going to marry me. Number two, you're going to be faithful to me. Number three, you're not going to have a bunch of side babies on me. You're going to be clean of STDs. OK, you're going to have a college degree. You're going to have your own career, your own money, and you're going to be paying all the bills. OK, like that is my requirements before I could even consider having a child with a man, all right? So I have far more requirements than you do, and you need to up your standards because this ain't cute, all right? Really both, but I definitely want a tattoo of my face on the father of my child's body. This generation is doomed. Preferably stomach, because my stomach is going to look different after a baby. So mm -hmm. your stomach should look different too. I'm if you want to date up, get used to these things. This is just the truth. A man will cash you out and ghost you. Him cashing you out is a way to get rid of you. Girl, what are you talking about cashing out? Like a lotto ticket. You know, getting cashed out. That sounds like a transaction, okay? So this sounds like some sugar roaching activities that I do not support on my channel. Do not argue with this man. Do not text him a million times. Just let it go. The last thing you want to do is ruin your relationship because once you start mate, meeting and dating elite men, they all click together and you don't want a man to go and slander your name by saying, oh, she's ghetto. Oh, she's loud. Oh, she cussed me out. Oh, she did this. Learn how to leave relationships with grace. Okay, well, I will agree with that. Okay, especially when you're dating white and non-black men. Okay, another thing, get used to them whooping out that stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It is what? Very, very normal for them to- Girl, okay, now I gotta stop you, okay? No, you should not be getting used to men who do that stuff, okay? It's very dangerous, it's very addictive, and plus, if you are the type of person who bends easily to peer pressure, it's gonna be only a matter of time before you're gonna be doing that stuff, okay? So you definitely do not want to be around people that are doing that. Pull that out. So just get used to it. If they ask you, do you party? Simply say, no, I don't. And simply walk the F out. Because if the cops show up and there's a bunch of you know what laying around, guess what? Your black ass is going to jail. You think all those rich brads or rich nakers are going to bail you out? I highly doubt it. Okay? Your ass is going to be thrown in a jail cell crying. Talking about, and can one of y'all bail me out? And he's already on to the next one. Ladies, you want to be sober. You want to keep your mind as clear as possible. This is why you want to stay away from doing. And that's why you want to stay away from men that do that, okay? I don't want to sit up there and have to wonder whether or not this man is going to take advantage of me, okay? So, no, it sounds like you're hanging out around very dangerous company. With men. Let them do it. The sober you are, the less chances you have of someone taking advantage of you. Bianca Sensori's dad reportedly thinks Kanye West is turning his daughter into a trash commodity. He thinks? No, he already has.
Leo Sensori allegedly wants to confront Kanye about his recent behavior, and he doesn't seem happy about it. A source close to Bianca told Daily Mail Bianca's father, Leo, wants to have a proper sit down with Kanye and ask him what the hell he's thinking. Wants to have a proper sit down? Oh boy, we already know how this is gonna go. I just wanna talk to him. Dad, this is ridiculous! I just You're gonna learn to stay the hell away from my daughter! You, you stay away from her! You understand me? What are you doing? Oh, thank God. When it comes to these brats, they do not play when it comes to their children, especially their daughters. He parades Bianca around like a trashy naked trophy pony. The insider further explained that Leo wants to ask Kanye what he would do if his daughters north in Chicago were publicly seen half naked in outfits their husband encouraged. And you know what? So many black men are supporting this going, she can think for herself and she's not being forced to wear those outfits. Yeah, right. Okay. We already know that when it comes to these high quality black men, that they like to control and dominate their women. So you're not going to convince us that she is not being forced to wear these get ups. Okay, look at that. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, where's the butt supposed to go? All right. Got the little square piece right there. Like, come on. All right. This is ridiculous. And what if a wealthy white man was parading around Kanye West's child like this? Y'all would have a fit. All right. So it's the hypocrisy that I can't stand when it comes to a lot of these black males. Because if this was North being paraded around half naked, they would be on Twitter and YouTube crying about it. Ah, bed winch, ah, okay? Give me a break. He added that Kanye is shutting Bianca out from her own family and turning her into a trashy looking marketable commodity. Yeah, I mean, that is what they do. Anytime these non-black women get with black men, their value goes down. Look at Kim Kardashian sitting up in here trying to find a high value white man and all of these brads are paying her with dust, okay? She got publicly rejected by Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and Tom Brady, okay? When it comes to these white men and non-black men, they don't want the Dusty's rejects, all right? You know about the insane rules that Kanye West has for his new wife? Like he has this girl on a leash. And if you ask me, it's definitely some sort of like turn on for him. I feel like that's why he's doing all of this. Yeah, because they're the most conquered, defeated groups of men on the planet. In order to feel like they're men, they got to conquer and dominate the non-black women, okay? They think having a non-black woman puts them on the level of a white man and it doesn't, okay? If you remember correctly, when Kanye and Kim got together, he totally revamped her style. He even made himself like her personal stylist. She said that he made her feel really Ugh, that outfit ugly. Secure about the way she used to dress. And like, I know like these fits are atrocious, but this was just kind of, she was just kind of following the trends. I'm saying this as like, there's a pattern with the women that he's with. And there's a pattern with the treatment that these high value black men do to their women, okay? There's a clear pattern here. And it is control and dominate because we a bunch of weak, conquered, defeated bitches who need to control women in order to feel like men. That is the uh, pattern that we're seeing here. His like obsession over controlling them in certain ways. This article in page six said Kanye is forcing his wife, I don't know why it's in quotes. <laughs> they put it in quotes too, because again, that is not his real legal wife. Bianca Sensory to never speak and only wear certain clothes. Kanye has a set of rules for Bianca, which includes never speaking and wearing what he wants her to wear. Apparently, he wants her to wear his dirty, musty underwear around her face. Source claimed. She is also required to eat certain food items and work out, even though Kanye does not work out. Woo! Kanye West, 46, has been able to control sensory completely because he allegedly convinced her that they're royal. And there's a quote that says, she has no mind of her own anymore. And y'all dusties are online sitting over here saying that this woman is dressing half naked because she wants to. Give me a break. Ah -ha -ha. Yo, I just want to tell everybody I posted my wife three times on purpose. The people still in my comments talking about, why are you posting your wife? Because she make... Why are you posting your face up so close with that big ass blister on your lip? Be happy. Leave me, leave the king the f alone. So don't ever say nothing negative. If you don't like my page and don't like what I'm posting, go f 
itself. It's quite obvious that Kanye is in his feelings. He's been rejected by the people of Italy. He's been rejected by his father-in-law. He's been rejected by the top elite billionaires, okay? No interracial relationship is acceptable because we have too many black women who are unmarried. Black women are the largest population on the planet Earth. If you can't find one in America, get it from Africa. If you can't get it from Africa, go to the Caribbean, go to Canada, go to Europe. Why would a black man... If you gotta go to different continents, just to find a partner i mean to me that seems kind of extreme you know everybody's entitled to do whatever they want to do but when it comes to these passport roaches you know i gotta fly over here and fly over there normally they're running away from manhood in the country they come from okay that's why they're calling them lbhs losers back home okay to copulate build a family with anything other than a black woman when you have so many black women available it is an exercise in self-hatred uh now i gotta correct you right there because my husband is white and no i do not hate myself i love myself enough to go after what i want okay point blame period like i have a preference and i'm not going to deny my preference and nor do i have to sleep with no dusty in order to love myself either okay to me that sounds nothing more than a gaslighting tactic to make sure that black women only are picking from you and it's not going to work over here in divestment no way to get around it do you think kanye west if he had a black woman things would be different? oh absolutely yeah absolutely because he wouldn't be trying to pay her no money and still require her to wrap his dirty musty underwear around her head while she's parading and walking around okay on top of that too let's not forget he'd be trying to deny the children and not try to pay her no child support too so that is what would happen if he was with a black woman i think kim kardashian used him and the fact that they're making yeah she used him oh well and black men use these type of women for their proximity to whiteness so it's a fair deal okay man pay two hundred thousand dollars a month in child support when boo hoo hoo that's called the exotical tax both he and the wife are billionaires are absolutely uh, ridiculous. I think they want to break men get the white women that other white men genuinely do not want. You don't get the top of the line white women. You don't. You get leftovers. Look at me. <laughs> yep. That's actually uh, quite correct. Most of our celebrities, they don't they did not marry women who came from the richest white family. Black money and white money don't behave the same. New black money and old white money have two totally different personalities. New I agree with that 100%, okay? Because the wealthy white people that I know are very low-key. They're very low-key. You're going to find these type of wealthy people in your local grocery store, shopping at Walmart, dressed in regular clothes, driving regular cars, and pull it right up to a mansion. And y'all dumbasses spend all your money on nice cars, and you can't even afford your next month's rent. Black money will jump on any poor white girl and make her a billionaire, Tiger Woods. Dealing with black men, especially nowadays, is like shopping at Anvets. It's like getting something from the thrift store. You might find something decent, but you definitely got to take it home and wash it and clean it up before you wear it. Mm, girl, bye. So she talking about dating black men is like going to the thrift store and, and having to wash it off. No, it's more like going dumpster diving and finding a bag of soiled, dirty clothes with roaches crawling all over it. You're not supposed to take that dirty bag of clothes home with roaches all over it and put it on your body, all right? Black women need to stop picking these picker-uppers, fixer-uppers, and making them into boyfriends and husbands. And it might not even look the same after you do that. Mm, girl, you are not no Bob the Builder, and no, you cannot fix it. That's just how it is out here for us black women dating black men. They look at you as an opportunity. If a man sit up there and tell you that he is the prize or if he acts like he is the prize, he is a gigolo. He sells d You know what I mean? And there are women out here that are buy it. There are women out here that take care of men. I have never been that type of woman, nor will I ever be. I would rather be alone by myself. Exactly. Okay? I'd rather be alone than to pay for some D. Okay? How are you going to sit up there as a woman and not feel undesirable knowing that he's only with you for some money? That's not real attraction. That's not real love. Okay? Give me a break, all right? I go where I'm wanted. I'm not going to sit there and put a man on a pedestal. Are you out of your mind? Then have to pay for a man's time and attention. I don't want no Andrew Cunanan ass man. But a lot of these men will watch women, especially on social media, just to see how they live and how they move, what they dress like. And they'll go after that specific woman because they look at her as a come up. Exactly. And I see a lot of these dust buckets practicing hypergamy because of Kitten Samuels, okay? 
And that is why we see so many of these black female celebrities getting knocked up and notice how none of them got rings on their finger, but they got these dust buckets knocking them up. You know why? It's because they want to trap them for a bag, okay? So a lot of these black males are resting in their femininity and they're looking to target these desperate and lonely mammies, okay? So y'all better watch out. You can't come up off of me. That just is not going to happen. So a lot of the wives are triggered on this app. It seemed like you triggered because you've been on YouTube for how long now? And your ass still ain't no wife, okay? Look at the description. Pearl calls out fake wives. How you gonna call out fake wives when you ain't even a wife yourself, okay? Sitting up in here talking about I'm gonna call out some fake wives. You pick me's are always setting the bar for women that your ass can't even reach yourself. Saying I'm young, inexperienced, don't know what I'm talking about. Mm, yeah, all that is correct about you. But I listen to what the men say every single day through consultations, through what I do for work, YouTube videos. I know what the men want through consultation and YouTube videos. Girl, bye. We don't care about what some incels on YouTube thinks about modern women and modern wives, okay? When the vast majority of them don't even have girlfriends or wives themselves, okay? Did you know that one in four marriages are sexless? How are you a good wife if you don't even sleep with your husband? There's a lot of reasons why a woman will not sleep with her husband. Is he cheating on her? Does he have a bunch of side babies on her? Did he give her an STD? Okay. Is he fruity? Is he in the closet? There's a lot of reasons, okay? So you cannot sit up here and just look at one side, one perspective, and not the other, all right? That is why y'all need to stop taking dating advice from these pick-me-ass who sit online and can't even maintain relationships themselves but trying to school you on how to be a good girlfriend or a wife, okay? That's like the blind leading the blind. On top of that, we're not loyal anymore. Women leave 70... We're not loyal anymore. Trying to look all seductive, okay? Give me a break. You literally look like my husband with a wig on. 80% of the time, 90% of the time if we're college educated. How are you a good wife if you're not loyal? <laughs> How are you a good wife when you're not loyal? <laughs> Trying to look all seductive. Girl, these men don't want you. You've been on YouTube for how long now? A dozen years now? And you still don't got no ring on your finger because these red pill incels don't want your ass, all right? Linebacker looking ass, looking like a whole lumberjack. She literally looked like my husband with a wig on. It's bro code. I mean, a lot of women don't know that. But uh, bro code? My husband don't kiss his friends like that. They fist pump each other and slap each other's hands and stuff like that. We all men do it. Hold on. Ain't no all men do that. No, y'all modern black men are the ones that do that. I thought man them already knew this. Come on. I mean, give me a kiss. Yeah, bro code. Hey, bitch, what up? What kind of music is that? Hey, bitch! Huh? Look at the uh, description. POV. You live in a place where black men don't date black women. Yeah, Portland. <laughs> yeah, Portland is a predominantly white area. And you can see right here, she got a text message from Simon on Hinge saying, I have never dated a black ever, honestly. Smiley face. Sent four minutes ago. Girl, you getting rejected like that? You know, a lot of this could be avoided if you women just explored your dating options, but you insist on chasing after black men. Girl, in Washington, they don't like us either. They like they bitches skinny with no meat in this color. Yeah. So why your ass um, still chasing after these men? Like, if you coming to get a man and you, in the, and you not from the West Coast, baby girl, if you in the South or the East Coast or the Midwest, let's stay where the fuck you at. You know what? There is nothing more scarier to the modern black man than a desperate mammy, okay? You can literally go to the worst part of the hood. All you need is a mammy on a leash. And I swear, all them gangsters are going to run away, okay? You just had one bad bunch. But there's a million out there, baby. What, what the fuck you got? No, they all a bad bunch, okay? West Coast, East Coast, it don't matter. What are you here for, girl? You finna be looking sour. Like some of my homegirls, these, these West Coast men, they're... Not it. Right. Girl, bye. Ain't nobody got time to be crying over these dusties, okay? Divest and rest. So, thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe for more content below. Thanks for watching.